exquisitely handcrafted from an original French recipe dating back to 1862, they were the crowning feature on a table of sweet treats fit for a queen, or at the very least a heavily pregnant duchess. Four French macaron towers from the famous Parisian bakery La Durée last week became the highlight of the spectacular baby shower feast enjoyed by Meghan Markle and her A-list friends in New York. While the five-day, £350,000 extravaganza, culminating in a party inside America's most expensive hotel suite at the Mark in Manhattan, made headlines around the world. The Mail on Sunday can today reveal just how opulent Wednesday's celebratory banquet really was. It was so lavish, in fact, that La Durée's website boasts of how its signature macaron towers evoke the Parisian glamour and elegance that Marie Antoinette would approve of. The Duchess of Sussex is unlikely to welcome comparisons to the 18th-century French queen who, when told that her subjects were starving and had no bread, replied, let them eat cake. But the scale and grandeur of the table which greeted famously sweet-toothed Meghan and up to 20 guests was staggering. Central were the four macaron towers, costing a total of £350 and infused with the delicate flavors of rose petals, passion fruit, vanilla and pistachio. Made from organic almond flour, eggs and sugar, each delicate macaron is handmade using two outer shells with a piped ganache filling. They contain an average of 80 calories each and are gluten-free, and should not be confused with a traditional British macaroon made with coconut and almonds. The four custom-made pyramid cakes, two medium-sized and two small, were from La Durée's store on New York's exclusive Madison Avenue, an order which requires two days' notice. Meghan was spotted on a visit there with her fashion stylist friend Jessica Moroni last Saturday. Those fortunate enough to be invited to Wednesday afternoon soiree in the £57,000 a night penthouse at the Mark have revealed charming photographs of iced biscuits in the shape of storks bunnies and baby rattles. Meghan's party planner Darcy Miller posted an image on Instagram of personalized cookies designed by tennis champion Serena Williams, who reportedly met the cost of the entire event. The picture showed a gold-rimmed plate with a pale green baby rattle pop cake, a cupcake with a stenciled pram decoration and a biscuit in the shape of a stork carrying a baby. But the mail on Sunday can today reveal that Meghan, radiant in a white-spotted navy blue maternity dress, had far more than designer biscuits to choose from. The groaning table, covered in a thick cream linen tablecloth, was anchored by a spectacular centerpiece of a huge glass vase containing three feet high cherry blossom branches. Scattered arrangements of Meghan's favorite pink peonies and delicate sweet peas completed the elegant look. In addition to the macaron towers, there was more drama in the cakes and confectionery thought to have been made by Michelin-starred chef Jean Georges von Gripton, whose eponymous restaurant at the Mark is considered one of the finest in New York. Meghan, 37, who is around seven and a half months pregnant, is a self-confessed foodie and while guests including her former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer, Ems Moroni, hairdresser Serge Normand and designer Misha Nanu were serenaded by harpist Taryn Hill. The food was the real star. Custom-made cakes including key lime tarts, cherry tarts, red velvet cakes and carrot cakes, sat beside gold-embellished containers filled with sugar crystals into which stork-shaped biscuits had been artfully arranged. Health-conscious Megan insisted on items being marked gluten-free for those with dietary constraints. There were also cotton candy pom-poms, candy floss on sticks explaining the delivery of a candy floss machine to the hotel during a snowstorm on the eve of the party, and a jar of multicolored donut holes that were gluten-free and just 40 calories each. Sources said Ems Williams designer biscuits, including iced storks on lollipop sticks, trays of sweet bunnies with chocolate piping and biscuits in the shape of traditional English brands and blue icing, were a hit. The color scheme featured multiple hues of blues, pinks, yellows and greens and gave no hint as to the gender of the future baby Sussex. It was a delicious palette of colors and a very sophisticated table, a source said. There was no dominant color theme. It was just opulent, luxurious and completely over the top. Cupcakes topped with yellow and orange piped flowers, 130 calories each, sat beside many lemon meringue pies, 
325 calories, and pink meringues, 100 calories. The four macaron towers sat on white royal icing bases and the banquet featured a spectacular white pop cake pyramid decorated with handcrafted pink paper flowers that, according to one observer, looked almost too good to eat. Drinks ranged from vintage champagne to designer teas and 12 pounds bottles of water. The official baby shower cake was a two-tier white fondant confection decorated with paper figures of Meghan, Harry and a pram positioned in front of cut-out paper cherry blossom trees. While the cost of the five-day celebration, including Meghan's one-bedroom, £15,312 a night suite and her ride in George Clooney's private jet was estimated at £350,000, the food alone may have cost up to £20,000. One Los Angeles-based private chef who works for A-list celebrities said, if you look at the ingredients alone, then you'd probably be looking at two to three grand, but when you factor in the Mark Hotel and Jean George's, then the sky is the limit. If I was to put a figure on an event like this, in a location like that, I'd say 10 to 20 grand. There have been suggestions that the New York bash was used by Meghan to wrest back control of her own image. It certainly drew huge media attention with scores of photographers camped behind barriers outside the hotel. The Duchess arrived in New York on February 15. The following day she had dinner with Ems Williams, Ems Moroni and close friend Marcus Anderson. Guests arrived at the baby shower with gifts including a 326 pounds baby Leto crib and a 470 pounds Trek bicycle. Flowers were provided by a company called Lady Fleur and Meghan later donated the arrangements to charities. However, the fate of any leftover food is unknown. The LA chef said, it's doubtful the number of guests could possibly have consumed that amount of food. It would be nice to think that someone somewhere might be enjoying a rose petal flavored French macaron.